Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will use a solvent to blend colored pencils. The first tip that I'm going to give you is about um, shading and smoothing, applying the solvent from highlights to shadows as you see on the right side because if you do the opposite you end up bringing some of the pigments in the shadowed area into the bright regions. You can always fix that by then using a white pencil but I would suggest just going from highlights to shadows in the first place. The second tip is about using a brush of the right size because if the brush is too small for the region that you're covering you end up digging, uh, dipping the brush into the solvent many times and you end up with patches of that have a different amount of solvent and the result is just not realistic. The third mis most common mistake is not using enough pigment before applying the solvent. As you see in the dawn side, I didn't apply enough of the red pencil and the end result is still really grainy and just really weird. Whereas on the dew side, the red is really vibrant and shiny. Now there are different ways of blending colored pencils. Um, not just um, solvent and we'll probably be doing another tutorial on different media that you can use but today is all about solvent which I think it is great for beginners because it is easy to use although you have to learn a few tips as I am telling you now but also because you it almost gives it almost gives a really realistic and painting like uh, look to the to the drawing. The fourth tip that I'm going to give you is about not using too much solvent because if you if your brush has too much solvent in it, the region that you're blending is not going to um, have a vibrant color, but it, it will just look really gray and not right as you see in the dawn's side now. And the last tip is about being careful when you apply the solvent towards the edges, not to smudge them because of course uh, now we're just coloring circles but if you're dealing with a portrait um, and you are not careful towards the, the edges you won't end up with a realistic look. So this is kind of it for the for this tutorial. Uh, I just probably want to mention two more things that are um, the paper. You need to make sure that the paper is not too thin and too smooth. Otherwise, you will end up breaking it. So you have to make sure that the paper you're using is uh, can be used with a solvent. And then the other thing that I'm going to, to give, another tip that I'm going to give you is that you can apply multiple layers of solvent as I'm doing in the down side, but I actually prefer, as I'm doing in the do side, I actually prefer applying only um, the first layer of solvent and then I go back uh, in with colored pencils to achieve a really nice look and you can compare at the end of the tutorial the green that I achieve in the do side without using multiple layers of solvent and the green that I achieve in the don't. So it, it, it's not a real don't but if you do want to achieve a really vibrant uh, looking drawing uh, just use just do not use too many uh, layers of solvent and this is uh, it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it and if you did give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel because um, it, it, you, you're really supporting it and also make sure to check out my art blog link in the description description below and my Instagram account which is hot Sophie underscore our pinguino thank you very much and see you in the next video bye bye